Hey, what's up everybody? This is Skylar West. I'm doing my presentation today on a program called Volatility. Uh, Volatility is an open source program. It has to do with uh, doing memory forensics as well as like malware analysis. Uh, to do that, like, it just looks at mal or it looks at RAM itself and then just kind of like analyzes it at a like, very like machine level. So it's pretty cool in that regard. Uh, to download it, you have to go to this website here, Volatility Foundation's website, and they have their newest releases. Today's is 2.6. Um, this does work on any modern OS past like Windows 7, including like Linux and Windows and Mac. So yeah, um, there's a lot of other guides out there how to install it. Thankfully I already have it installed on my Windows 8 machine here. And uh, yeah, I'll give a link to that in the description. So to jump right into it, <coughs> I have, we're going to be working in this little folder here, and these are supposed to be backspaces, don't ask why those were like that, could not give you an answer, um, but yeah, what we got in this file here, is we got vol.exe, which is, used to be called this.exe, I just renamed it since it's really long, and so this is the actual main volatility program, and be also looking at these .bin files, which are actual like image files of somebody's RAM, so we can actually just analyze it. Uh, to begin, uh, volatility performs more efficiently if it knows what exactly it's looking at, like OS-wise. So to do that, we have to analyze our image file to do or to see that. So we want to do vol.exe and then dash f that denotes that whatever comes after it will be the file we're looking at. We'll do sample001.bin and then the command we're going to be running is image info, which naturally just pulls up information about our image file, like just OS, when it was created, other little things like that. So we'll let that run. And yeah, so it's thinking in our suggested profile section that it's running XP service pack 2. So we'll go off that assumption. So to do that, to actually tell volatility to use Windows XP search methods, I'm going to do vol.exe again, and then dash dash profile equals, and then whatever your profile would be. So in our case, winxp sps or sp2 x86. And then file sample. 001 again, and yeah, now we can use any sort of commands. So, one of the cooler ones that it offers is it has CMD scan, which it looks to, um, it tries to detect if any command line prompts were like manually put in. So, in this case, it looks like, yes, there were some right around here. So somebody used net use, which is like they remotely access this drive here, so it's a bit suspicious, at least to me. Then they change the directory, it looks like back, and then they copied an exe file to that directory. Um, and then yeah, then they ran it. So, I don't know about you, but it seems a bit suspicious to me. It just seems like a classic malware thing, just to connect back to wherever it came from and then keep installing files or something like that. Um, so, probably look into this mdd.exe a little bit more. Um, one thing we can do is, so I'm going to press up on my keyboard, and then it just pulls back what we had. Um, the next thing we can do is ps list, which this stands for process list, and it tries to show everything that was showing up like in the process tree and task manager, so everything running. And yeah, it's got all the good stuff like csrss, when log on. It tries to tell you the PID of them, the PPID, and then the, when it was started and exited, if at all. And yeah, so mdd.exe was definitely running. Um, so we'll see if there's any like DLL files associated with that. It's a common Walware thing too to just dump like rogue DLLs. So we'll do DLL list. Take a look at that. and it's going to pull up a ton of information about every single process. And here's, thankfully, mdd.exe right at the bottom. So it pulls out a path 
like regarding or each of these are files that it was like interacting with or just like touching quote unquote and yeah it's looking at a lot of system files so that's pretty pretty suspicious at least um, this is to I guess to continue with that um, it's another tool we could use if I'm personally too unskilled to use but there's a uh, there are other means of like really getting in and like analyzing the raw memory values that this can provide you. Um, it's pretty cool. I just saw this command either way. Um, so the command is called VAD tree, and it's kind of a long command. So the way you do it is you do dash p, which stands for PID. So the PID of the file we're using. So MDD is over here is 244. So we'll do that. We'll do dash dash output. output equals dot so it's going to be a dot file that's getting outputted then you do output file equals whatever you want to call it so we'll do mdd four dot dot and then run it and yeah thankfully um so to use this you have to have another program it's called gb edit which i have installed already but i'll have a link to that as well and what, basically what this does is it prints out like a graphical like representation of like its VAD locations, which is like its virtual memory. So any type of virtual memory or like paging that was going on, it shows like where it was interacting with. Um, it's more or less like a map of all the memory addresses this program was touching. So it's pretty, no idea how to decipher it per se, but it seems pretty, pretty interesting just to really get in and see what a malware had been doing or a virus of any sort. Um, some other cool things you can do with this, it's like a, so I'll delete all this again. So we've got hash dump, which it attempts, it seems to work better on XP from what I understand, 32 bit specifically, but it works to just acquire password hashes for all computer users that had, I believe, signed in during this time or have stored credentials. So you know, say that's pretty intense to have considering XP is so old you could easily brute force these things. Um, but yeah, so it's I don't know, pretty neat functionality. And then there's also IE history, which works to try to force through IE's or Internet Explorer's history and then just dump anything that was looked at. So looks like we had one thing in this particular session and somebody downloaded Semantic. Which, okay. So, if we're going off that MDD little investigation, perhaps what we were looking at was somebody remoting back and looking... perhaps not virus? Like, perhaps it wasn't a virus, but it was like... maybe somebody downloaded something to help them remove some viruses. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's the fun of this, so you just gotta keep investigating, reach conclusion. Um, there's another one, it's DLL dump, which I'm not going to do because I did this earlier and it dumped malware onto my computer, which is thankfully my firewall caught, but it just dumps any of those DLL files that were listed in like DLL list, so for further analysis. Which is pretty cool, but when you have an infected system, it is not so much cool. So yeah, use that at your own discretion. And yeah, there's a sample of uh, volatility for you guys. Hope you guys learned something. Um, do recommend looking into this if you're just interested in like low-level computing and just anything like that. There's a book called The Art of Computer Forensics, or Memory Forensics, made by that Volatility Foundation, which is a large, I guess, manual for this. Um, it's really technically dense, but at the same time it is a really interesting topic, and they put out their information in a pretty like easy to understand manner as much as it is but um yeah either way thanks for having me and hope you have a good one